Finally, Clock 315 is here, and more exciting, it's now available in Canada as well. And I'm constantly being blown away by what AI is capable of doing, really. It just keeps pushing my own imagination. So, in this video, I'm going to share what are the unique strengths of Clock that I found compared to ChatGPT or Gemini, and some of the best use cases. You should definitely use Clock in marketing. Like ChatGPT, Clock AI comes with a free and pay plan, which is $20 per month. For the pay plan, the biggest plus is being able to choose between models like 3.5 Sonic, Opus, and also you can access the project features which is only available to pro users now. You also get 5 times more usage than the free plan, but the usage is not unlimited. I would say if you use it to analyze lots of big chunks of data, then you will run out of usage pretty fast, so keep this in mind. So for this video, I'll assume we're just using the free version. Now here are the areas I found Clock is really excelling compared to other AI models. The first one, humanized right? For the same prompt in producing long form or short form content, Clock just produced much better response than ChatGPT. It's really natural and sounds like an authentic human. Although some sentences may still need to be fine tuned, most of the time I found the first draft is already quite satisfying. You can just use it to prepare draft for different types of writing, hooks, ideas, and in a minute I'll show you how you can more effectively use it in content generation. Another strength is a strong contextual understanding and thoughtful response. It has a big contextual window with 200,000 tokens, and that means it can consider around 500 pages of text at the same time. So generally I found Clock not just has good contextual understanding, but what makes it really good is that it can retain that understanding along the whole conversation. First, as in ChatGPT, sometimes in the middle of the conversation, it will start to hallucinate or forget some details. Also, I found Clock is a humanized thinker. Its output is always thoughtful and empathetic. That means if you're trying to ask it to pick an option for you, it will lay out the rationale and really pick one for you. First, as in ChatGPT, sometimes the answer is always inconclusive. Now another strength is definitely its coding capability and its unique artifact features. Probably this is the most hyped feature since the rollout of 3.5 Sonic. And to be honest, I'm really impressed. So basically, once you turn on these artifact features, you can interact with the standalone content generated in a separate window. For example, documents, a web page mockup, diagrams. So there are just lots of lots of possible ways you can use it. Now here are the best use cases that I think you should definitely use clock with this string. And the first one, analyze writing style for content generation. Since clock can analyze large documents, what I found effective is instead of just asking it to create the content directly, first ask it to analyze your writing with lots of your own content. Now let's say I have three writing samples. It's actually from Tim Ferriss, just for demo purposes. And now I can first ask Clark to analyze his writing style for me, including the sentence structure, use of vocabulary, tone and voice, techniques, pacing. And the most important thing is ask Clark to format the response as a clear writing style guide where I can later pass to another AI assistant to easily apply them. All right, so now you can see it helps me to define a writing style guide. I really like it. It's actionable, concise, easy to follow. And a tip here is always make adjustment before finalize. And then now we can ask it to generate an article with the attached writing style. And this will make the whole process much more effective and efficient. And again, let's use the same article prompt I just used. So you can see Clock is following the style guide. Although I would say this title definitely needs to change, Conquering the Iron Jungle sounds very silly and also for some subheading as well. But for the overall body content, it's pretty good. It's using a mix of sentence structure, it's casual and conversational, and I can see it's really in the style of Tim Ferriss. Lots of punchy lines. And of course, if you need it to generate long form content like this, I recommend you ask it to generate paragraph by paragraph and not to generate the whole draft all at once and always give more guidance on the key points that you try to make and the response will be even better. So basically, this approach can be applied in any types of content generation, short form, long form. Now keep in mind, I don't encourage you to fit all this writing sample just to copy the style completely because then it will lack your personality 
you can take them as inspiration and adjust, but always use your own writing samples whenever possible. And also try not to mix with different content types. If you are preparing email writing style, fit it with email writing samples. If you're preparing article writing style, fit it with article writing samples. Just don't mix, otherwise it will get confused. Another powerful use case is doing competitive positioning analysis using a strong contextual reasoning and ability in giving thoughtful opinions. What is even amazing, you can ask this to use perspective from well-known world leaders and bounce off ideas. And I found this is a great way to inspire your strategic thinking as you're preparing competitive analysis for your own brand or for your clients. Now assume I'm doing a competitive position analysis between Pink Monkey, which is my brand, and Canva, the competitor. I have this positioning document that includes some key information about my brand positioning, target market, target audience, unique selling points, as well as the competitor and the market information. And then I will ask Clark to give me the insights and suggestions on how I can position Pink Monkey to get it differentiated from Canva and what strategies to attract more designers. Now the best part is I will ask it to use the perspective of Steve Jobs, Elon Musk, and Jeff Bezos so I can have multiple perspectives to inspire my thinking. And you can see Clark just gave me their perspective on the different differentiation and strategy I should explore based on the different decision making style. And this is so great. And I even try to wrap it up with a summary. You probably won't able to get this quality response from ChatGPT. So this is why I love Cloud and this is definitely one of the best use case for that because it always gives you a solution, constructive feedback and has its own thinking and opinion. So definitely try this to inspire your strategic thinking. Just pick a significant well-known leader you admire the most and ask Clark how he or she would design in different business scenario. I guarantee you will find lots of great ideas, inspiration, and you will like it. Another powerful way I found is to use Clark to analyze customer reviews, comments, identify the sentiments, and to provide constructive feedback or just simply for research purposes. And these can be your Google business profile reviews, e-commerce store product reviews, YouTube video comments, and a lot more. And then you can feed to Clark to do the analysis for you. Save you so much time. To export these reviews or comments, you can use this tool, Export Comments. So it allows you to extract 100 comments for free. No account is needed. There are lots of different comments you can extract with this tool, like Facebook post comments, YouTube video comments, Google reviews, really a lot, so pretty handy. And let's say I want to understand my competitors, men in Kel's window cleaning, what they're good at and what they're not doing well. So now I will use the tool to export the Google business profile reviews. And then I will fit it to clock and ask it to analyze them. Look for highlights with both positive and negative, and then give me recommendations. So now you can see clock response is really amazing. I've tried the same prompt with ChatGPT, but this is far better more detailed and specific, and it is accurately summarizing what customers like and what areas to improve. And what I like the most is actually the recommendations, really specific and helpful. Not only making recommendations based on the negative things, but also positive things like expanded surface over loyalty discounts or package deals, which is brilliant. And this is the kind of response you won't get from ChatGPT. Again, you can apply it in so many scenario, not just doing for your brand, you can analyze your competitors and see what people like or dislike, just like in this example. Or if you market it, you can see what common problems that people have and fix the messaging. So this is super, super useful. Now, another way to use it is to quickly build topic cluster for your keyword research process. This is useful if you're doing keyword research and need to analyze all the keywords to build different topic cluster. If you don't know what is a topic cluster, it is a group of pages, a content, and targeting the same topic. It helps you to more strategically build content for your niche and improve SEO. So let's say we are doing keyword research around the topic wedding makeup targeting United States. And so now I have put a list of keywords related to wedding makeup on SEMrush. You don't necessarily use SEMrush, just pick any keyword research tool you're using. And then let's filter those with keyword difficulty score no more than 30, volume at least 50, and also with informational search intent. And so we can maximize the chance to rank. And then we have this list of filter keywords and we're gonna export them as a CSV file. Now, before we fit it to clock, 
I highly encourage you to clean the file first and remove any unnecessary columns because sometimes if your keyword data is so big, then you will run out of the conversation length limit on clock really quickly. So we want to make sure we only fit clock with the necessary data. Now on clock, type the prompt to ask it to generate the topic cluster identified from these set of keyword data and also showing the top 10 keywords underneath in terms of the highest search volume and lowest keyword difficulty. Now you can see the response is really good. It just helped me to identify different topic cluster. And I would say for each of these, it can be just another pillar content in itself, like this one, dramatic and themed wedding makeup. Underneath, I can build different articles like gothic wedding, dramatic wedding, boho wedding, or just map to any existing content I've created. So it's useful to help you build your content plan faster. And now I can take a step further to ask it to build a visual topical mind map to easily explain that to my clients or perhaps my teammates. So you can even ask it to turn it into more beautiful visuals for your presentation purpose. Another way to use it is to create carousel style social posts. So with this artifact features, it just makes the experience and clock so much more interactive. Carousel posts is one of the best post format to get engagement on social media platforms. For example, assume I am a marketing manager working at Google and I am planning a carousel style post on LinkedIn to share the highlights for this prompting guide 101 and at the end to drive the traffic to the download page. So let's ask clock to base on this guide and summarize the key takeaways using both good and bad examples to make it really easy to understand and concise. Note how I give the instruction to clock to follow the structure, starting with the cover, hook, why it's important, key takeaways, and finally the call to action. Also include emojis where it fits to make it really engaging. Beautify them as if they are ready to post on LinkedIn. All right, so now you can see clock just made me a skeleton for this pose with each slide as a separate artifact and they're really good. I like the background, it's very taggy and also the hook. I love how it uses interesting fun facts to trigger curiosity and then to take away also nicely done with both bad and good examples is also following my instruction to use marketing related example only. Very nice. And finally, the call to actions with a C-tape button. I must say it is really good. Although some wordings like the title or the takeaway still need adjustment, but overall it delivers my prompt very well. Now, if you want, you can publish the artifacts so you can share with your designers or team to do the actual design work. Just click this publish and it's done. But now let's say I'm happy with each of the slides. So I am going to ask it to combine all the artifacts into one post draft first. Well, you can see it's great and exactly what I want and then I can click publish and share with my team. Another powerful way is to ask it to create a landing page layout for your campaign or product launch. It can be useful if you just want some quick draft to start with before you start working with your design team or just to get ideas. For example, assume I'm building a one pager for my SaaS product launch. So it's an AI solution to generate click worthy ad tech lines within minutes and it provides seamless integration with Google Ads. And now I can ask Cloud to help me to build this landing page layout. Note that I intentionally not giving any instruction to Cloud what sessions to be included because I just want inspiration. But if you are already very clear of what you want, then definitely you should specify the sections here in more detail. Now you can see just within a minute, the landing page draft is ready and it's pretty amazing. Each section is really clear with the hero sections with a tagline, CD button, why should the audience should choose the product with the core benefits, how the solution works, customer testimonial sections, plan and pricing details. So I would say it's really, really cool. And if you're happy with it, you can also to generate the HTML and CSS file for you. So you can have something to start with in a minute. It's really powerful. And again, you can also publish the artifact and share with the team for further brainstorming. And I would say it is not just for landing page. You can apply the same approach in building building any small widgets, on-site modules, lead forms, getting ideas and preview them using the artifact features. Alternatively, you can also upload any hand drawing or simple diagrams and ask it to generate the actual demo pages for you. So definitely try this out.
Another useful way is to ask it to build an interactive dashboard for any types of data. So you not only visualize the data, but also able to interact within the dashboard. This is similar to what you can do using common data visualization tools, but with cloud, it just makes the whole process much faster and without understanding the technical details and setup. For example, I have this financial report from IKEA, and now I can fit it to clock and ask it to build an interactive dashboard that display the insights in a clear and insightful way. I also ask it to include charts, graphs, and filters to allow an easy analysis. So now you can see Clock has already built the dashboard for me, showing the key financial metrics like top line sales, breakdown, bar charts, and also some key highlights from report. I would say it's a pretty good start. And if you can include more specific details or areas that you want Clock to focus on, then I believe it would be much better. And it can be useful if you're doing market research and want to build some interactive dashboard to be included as part of your presentation, just to make it more engaging and interesting. Now, personally, I only recommend building dashboard with Clock using publicly available data, just like the example I just showed, particularly in tags or PDF format and not in large data set in Excel or CSV format. Reason number one is I found clock is very restrictive in its usage limit. So if you ask it to analyze big chunk of data set in Excel or CSV format, then you will run out of limits or tokens very fast. So making it really not that helpful in that sense. And reason number two is data privacy concern. I don't recommend you just fit it with your campaign or your client's campaign data or sensitive data, build a dashboard and publish the artifacts with a link. And the thing is, you can also build such dashboard with lots of other tools unless you're just doing it privately with your team and to get inspiration. All right, there are actually way, way more use cases you can use clock in your marketing tasks. But these are what I found particularly powerful way to use it based on its strain compared with ChatGPT or Gemini. And any particular topic or use cases you want to know about clock, share with me in the comments. I also have another whole playlist of videos about using different AI tools for marketing. Feel free to check it out. I'll see you next time.